Hey you guys, this is Jules. I want to share a project with you guys that I did for a friend of mine. Um, these are some birthday invitations for a one-year-old and um, some dessert table labels using a couple, well actually three AccuCut dies. So I made um, 25 invitations for Misty and then I made uh, 19 labels, dessert labels, dessert table labels. So this is the cupcake invitation that I made for her. It's a cupcake card uh, pocket. Um, and the invitation is, of course, inside. And I'm not going to go too much into detail because the video will show you um, exactly how I did it. The inside opens this way, and the cup is an actual pocket, like a cup is. <laughs> and the invitation is in here. The only thing I didn't show was me making the this part here, but... I did it on my computer and I printed it out, making sure that the size was exactly what the size that I'm looking for that would fit great inside this pocket. Backed it on some more of the same um, paper and um, then glimmer misted it, um, edged the white cardstock uh, with sponge sugar. And um, yeah, uh, after I glued that down, I um, sprayed it with some scintillating silver um, by Lindy Stamp Gang. And it looks like this. So I um, added a couple flowers there. So the front just tucks in there. And it's just happy birthday. And the back is the actual back of the cupcake. So there's the invitation for her. And then I made the table labels. So I also did this on my computer and printed out all these labels. And um, just cut them out. And um, this is the um, square mats. Um, I'll show you the dies in a second. Um, but I created, just folding it and cut it out and um, created a label, a table label. Um, using some other cardstock here to hold it open and it just stands there on the table. And I made an extra, just plain so that just in case somebody else brings a, um, like a dessert, then we can just jot it down really quick and then set it down on the table there. So, the dies that I used are from AccuCut. This one here is the top part that I used, and I cut out two pieces of the cups to sandwich in between the cardstock. The larger cupcake, which is the one that I used, um, because it fits that top, on the top on the other die a lot better. And here is the square card mats that has two different designs, and this is the design that I went with, because they seem more fun to me um, for the table label. So stay tuned for the tutorial i recorded myself doing it and um and so it's an all fast forward but if you have any questions um let me know and i will be happy to get back to you guys thanks so much for watching you guys i'll see you in a little bit here are all the pieces that i cut out and i'm going to start off by spraying down the white card stock this is the larger cupcake shape and heat setting it I'm just going to color up all my flowers right now as I know what colors I'm going to be using. And these three are for the front cover. Ramblin' Rose Pink for the Little Daisy. I like to multitask. I don't like to do a lot of things one by one, so I'm going to throw the other ones in there and spray them down with their designated color. Jazz blue. It's a beautiful teal. And these are some little Prima hydrangeas that I had packed away. Love these. <laughs> Love these. I'm just going to go ahead and do some clear this is a petaloo flower that I have, and I love this particular flower because I like to use the petals as leaves. Just gives it such a beautiful shimmer, sparkle. Love it. Love, love, love. A lot of these pieces, flowers and stuff that I spray look like candy. I love it. Don't mind the disgusting box. <laughs> it's icky. <laughs> Look at that. I 
here we are. I'm just putting some double double uh, sided adhesive with my ATG. And I cover this completely and I do add some liquid glue to it because I want it to hold really well. And when the glue dries, it stiffens really well. So it makes the card a little heavier. So it's not so flimsy. So I cover the entire back and I do the cups first so that the the cupcake top can sit over it like it normally does with any cupcake. So that one is just the pocket one. So I'm just going to let sit that let it sit there and let it dry a little bit as I ink up the edges. Shabby Shadows Distress Ink is the color that I'm using here for the edges and I'm doing it on the top too. Reminds me of uh, Jolly Rancher apple flavor candy. Love it. And some of the ink, this Distress Ink stays wet so I like to heat dry it a little bit. So I'm just going to measure this so that I can clip the very top of the white card stock that's the inside so that it there's no um, no issues with it folding over so I like to trim the very top see that so it's not in the way when it folds over and it doesn't leave an ugly fold so filling in the distress ink there and then I cover the entire back side so it completely is sealed on the back and then leaves me just the flap for the front So there it is all stuck together. And this is the invitation that I use. See the shimmer on that? I sprayed that down too. So I just kind of do that to kind of help um, unstick what doesn't need to be stuck. So it opens up the pocket. This is a Martha Stewart paper punch. This piece of paper is about seven by two. So it gives me a nice like one and a half, one and three quarter inch wide um, border. I just clip that off, no biggie, because not the whole thing is going to fit on there. So I try to center it using the three of the scallops. A little tape there I'm tucking back in. And just clip it off. This side is a little tricky to get. Just have to get really in there. It's starting to come together here. Now I just started with a little bit of adhesive on the front, right in the center where it's going to go, um, kind of to anchor it down. The bow's going to go on that side. So once that's anchored, then I flip it over and put some adhesive on the ribbon and then fold it over so it stays in place. Then I can just tie my little knot. Quick trim. And I like to, I love this little, these, these beads, They're so pretty. So um, you have to pre-measure things like this so that at the end of it, on the edge, um, there's a nice clean bead right at the edge instead of a little piece of rope. So you make sure that you measure well, adding dabs of glue on the back side of it. And then a little bit on the other side. Sometimes three or four beads is all it needs. It's a little more tricky because it's smaller, but it works out fine. Love this ruffle trim. And it's a satin kind of a trim. And it just mimics like whipped icing or whipped cream or something like that on the very top of the cupcake. It's really cute. Just some hot glue and it stays great. It doesn't, um, I mean, it takes a second to, to dry but it worked out great. I'm just trimming the edges off here. And then I'm gonna end up gluing it down um, just on the very edges because there's a little piece. It's a little tricky with this ribbon. So I'm just tacking it down. And there's that. And here is the uh, little flower, little rose I'm gonna use by the bow that I sprayed down in the beginning. And the pink is the same pink as this flower here. Um, and it's the same color pink as the light pink stripe, Rick Rack stripe on the top of the, the muffin top. So just three beads to the very center of it. It gives a cute little look, a little dainty look. And here's, I just cut like single little beads from the flat roll that I have. 
that's um that's on top of the little ribbon on the cup. This is um, something that I just wanted to use for the little flower center. So I'm gonna use them for these little three flowers. Beautiful bright colors. So I'm gonna glue that down. That flower reminds me of uh, just a big flower bow or something on the side of a little girl's head or something. So that's why I set it on the side there. And then I have this dollar stamp that I found somewhere. I don't remember if it was Craft Warehouse or Michaels, but using a ticket die cut, I stamped happy birthday and wanted to um, frame a little bit of it with a little bit of ink. I'm And I'm using sponge sugar for this one. Just to edge, edge the edges of the ticket. And then I'm going to add on three um, little beads or oh, those flat beads to kind of like simulate a little bit of bling like I, sometimes I put little pearls like in sets of two or threes on the sides of cards or whatever and I just I wanted to add something to it I just needed something else to me so there's those three there on the side and I'll probably show a close-up real quick there yep and then on the inside is where I add my flower And I want to add them on the side here. It just reminds me of like little candies. They're just so, so bright and cheery. I love it. And then it tucks back into the cup like that. And here are the dessert table labels now. So this is a die cut piece. Um, the die cut is actually four and a quarter by four and three, oh, four and three quarters by four and three quarters, but I cut a piece of designer paper at five and five and a half, folding it in half. And then die cutting it at the size that I wanted, edged it with walnut stain to frame it. This piece is what's gonna go underneath it to have it become the actual stand. That piece is two inches by four, scored at half an inch on both sides. This little white piece is one inch um, by two and three quarters. So I'm just gonna use my corner chomper at the four, uh, one quarter inch cut and get all the corners of that one and what's what it's going to sit on for the background this is the rick rack design that the white label will sit on and that's a uh, three and three quarters by one and three quarters so i'm just going to edge this and also use um, sponge sugar all the way around it And when you use a distressing tool, the paper distressor, um, and then add ink, it just helps um, the ink, to me, stick a lot better. Uh, it frames um, your piece your piece of paper a lot better to me, in my opinion. So, so I'm just going to stick it down, and then I'm going to add the sparkle to it. So I'm bringing my box back in. And again, using scintillating silver for this, I just do a couple of sprays and... Um, Heat set that, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just adding the adhesive here so that I can um, add it to the actual label stand. So it's a little bit damp, so I wanted to dry it a little bit. So I heat set that a tiny bit because I found if it's wet, adhesive doesn't stick very well. It, it does come off really easy. So here I'm just going to use some of this sheer trim, uh, sheer ribbon, and some of the, again, with the little flat pearls, just to kind of border the very bottom. I don't like the little strands of string on the end, so <laughs> I trim it down as far down as I can get it. So I'm just going to start where the corrugation, the corrugation of the design um, is at, and then from one end to the other. And there's a distance of four inches there between the corrugation lines. So... Um, that's my piece. I normally measure first before I cut it. So I dab it again, each little piece, because I don't like to, I don't want to put a strand on the bottom and you can see right through it. So I like to do on each piece of pearl, whether it be flat back or full pearls or whatever. So I'm just going to take it all the way over to the end. I love the theme of this entire party. It's um, a sweet theme, sweet treat theme. 
Um, so everybody's bringing desserts and Misty's making desserts and stuff. So she's a Christmas baby, but without a Christmas themed birthday or birthday party. <laughs> So I'm just going to add it to the corner and I always cut a little bit more than I think I'm going to use sometimes with this. Um, I just want to make sure I have enough on the edges um, because I'm going to make this little tail here on both sides. So I'm going to trim it off there and do it again. And there's the petaloo flower leaf that I made and I'm going to curl the wire here on this rose I do this every now and again make some little cute curlies and there it is this is the extra that um, in case there's an unexpected plate or some sort of, yeah, some other dessert. You can just write that in really quick. And there that is. I have detailed pictures over on my blog, you guys, if you are interested in taking a peek at the ones that I made. There is another one that I did make um, where I didn't put the little stand thing in, in the center. Well, this part here. Um, I completely closed it and folded it over and closed it and uh, punched a couple holes on the top and ran some ribbon through it so that Misty can hang it off of a basket. She's going to put like tea and hot cocoa mixes and stuff on a basket. So she didn't want to stand. She wanted something that she can put on the basket. So there's another idea and I'll put that picture over on my blog. So this little piece here, I just um, lined it up against the corrugated parts and that was it. And there you are there. And there's the other one here. I'm going to put them together. There you go. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Head over to my blog for the for the pictures, okay? Jill signing out.